हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस मेमोरी बेस्ड क्वेश्चंस ऑफ टुडेज गेट एग्जाम गेट 2025 एंड आई विल आल्सो डिस्कस आंसर्स ओके आंसर्स ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन सो दिस आर मेमोरी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन 20 क्वेश्चंस एंड आई विल डिस्कस आंसर डिटेल सॉल्यूशन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चंस आई विल प्रोवाइड इन माय नेक्स्ट वीडियो Uh, which uh, after the uh, paper is uh, released by iit okay so let us uh, discuss some memory based question so this is first question uh, it is from classical mechanics you can see it is hamiltonian is given and something of this kind was asked ki da by if da by dq is equal to a by q so what is the value of n okay so if you write hamilton's equation and uh, do calculation okay you will find you will get n equal to 3 perhaps its correct answer is 3 so here i am only giving you correct uh, sorry answers uh, you know, based on memory based question, questions uh, and detail solution i will not discuss here okay so next question is related to, uh, is again on classical mechanics uh, it says there is a wheel uh, uh, which has some spokes like this also uh, and it's uh, these spokes are basically massless at center there is mass m and this uh, wheel has mass 3m now this wheel is uh, rolling uh, around uh, this axis you can see okay it is rolling around this axis like uh, like this uh, here uh, uh, with angular velocity omega so question uh, says that about this point o you see this uh, this is the point o Uh, so about this point o uh, angular momentum is l vector so angular momentum is changing with time so rate of change of angular momentum is equal to this much so what is the value of n okay so again if you do uh, detail calculation you will find that here uh, its answer is uh, comes out to be 6 okay so 6 is the answer now next question it says uh, there is um, uh, an ideal gas so consider free expansion of ideal gas Uh, and isothermal expansion of ideal gas so in these two cases calculate change in entropy and uh, find the ratio of the two so if you do this calculation you will find that its ratio comes out to be 1 okay so correct answer for this question is 1 all right so now next question uh, see this is a question related to uh, electrostatics there is a uniformly polarized sphere initially it is at origin and its dipole moment is given to be p1 okay now uh, it is shifted to another position where coordinate uh, of its center is 2r00 okay so in this second position uh, dipole moment is p2 with respect to the same origin okay so with respect to origin dipole moment is p2 so question is what is the magnitude of p1 by p2 this ratio we have to calculate see this question is actually uh, re related to a uniformly polarized dielectric sphere see Uh, it is polarized so total charge is zero here okay total charge is zero so uh, there is a concept if total charge is zero then dipole moment is independent of origin okay so therefore here dipole moment should be independent of origin uh, so therefore these two values of dipole moment should be same so therefore answer of this question should be one okay so one is the answer this is a series and its sum uh, was asked so you can see uh, this is uh, an exponential series so therefore its sum is e minus 1 okay now this is um, a question related to uh, tensor it says a is a contravariant tensor uh, so a q q diagonal element is given to be q, q a x x is given to be q and a t t is given to be p okay so now question is uh, uh, if uh, we do lorentz transformation this is lorentz transformation okay so a prime dx x x and a prime t t is equal to what okay so again if you do detail calculation you will find that a primed x x comes out to be this is a prime dx x so this comes out to be uh, perhaps uh, uh, gamma square and q or plus uh, here you get gamma square and v square and p okay and a prime tt okay this uh, you will get this comes out to be perhaps uh, um, gamma square and v square and q and plus gamma square p okay this is what you will get actually so now this is another question uh, from classical mechanics uh, it says uh, there is a system given here oh sorry 
there is a system given here uh, and this uh, system is uh, oscillating in normal mode so if, uh, if uh, k1 is equal to 2 and k2 is equal to 3 hai k2 this k2 center pe k2 hai uh, this k2 is 3 and mass is equal to 1 then frequencies of normal modes we have to calculate so if you uh, do this calculation you will find that uh, frequency of normal modes are root 2 and root 8 so this should this should be the correct answer okay next question see uh, it is related to quantum mechanics uh, question says that uh, there is a half oscillator that means it is uh, one side potentially infinity you can call it truncated harmonic oscillator so energy of first excited state uh, and uh, energy of first excited state and ground state we have to calculate so if you do this calculation perhaps uh, you will get uh, 7 by 3 as the correct answer 7 by 3 okay next question see it is related to uh, again quantum mechanics it says there are five spin half particles okay uh, here you see there are five particles spin sorry not spin half it is uh, spin three by two particles so question is uh, uh, if these particles are put into 1d box ground state energy comes out to be something like this so what is the value of k this k we have to calculate so if you do calculation okay in ground uh, in any energy level there will be four particles so you will get uh, one square into four and plus two square or into one okay so that's why you answer should be six here okay its answer should be six actually okay next question is this was question number nine now question number ten it says uh, at t equal to zero you see uh, at t equal to zero here a spin half system is in a state one zero now a magnetic field is applied uh, so after what time a system will be in this state okay that is the question so <coughs> basically uh, this is related to uh, dynamics of state okay or time evolution of state you can say so if you do this calculation you will get answer to be equal to pi divided by 4 omega that that is the answer this is the time after which uh, initial state will transform into this final state okay now next question uh, it says uh, a system has energy this is the energy of system okay and uh, here uh, when a perturbation of this kind uh, is applied uh, calculate first and second order correction to energy e1 first order and second order correction we have to calculate to energy e1 okay so uh, here you see uh, actually uh, in a unperturbed hamiltonian we can write like this h is equal to e1 0 0 and e1 e2 we can write this is unperturbed Hamiltonian and this is given to be perturbation okay so therefore uh, uh, if you do the calculation you will find that first order correction comes out to be zero and second order correction uh, comes out to be something of this kind delta I square lambda I square or divided by e1 minus e2 modulus something of this type you will get now another question uh, this is question number 12 uh, it says uh, there were four options okay which uh, and question is uh, which particle has a strangeness minus one okay so the correct answer will be sigma particles okay we know that sigma particles uh, have uh, strangeness minus one so correct answer is sigma okay it can be sigma zero sigma minus one sigma plus one sigma sigma minus sigma plus okay now there is a lagrangian given here okay this is the lagrangian of charged particle moving in magnetic field now question is what is hamiltonian dx by dt dpx by dt dpy by dt okay that was the question asked okay so here uh, you uh, you see uh, if you uh, do this calculation and match with the options given you will find that h was correct this was incorrect this was correct and this was correct okay so three options uh, are correct in this question in this question now next question is uh, related to electrostatics see uh, actually in this exam there were lots of question from electrostatics uh, uh, see this is i think uh, third question from electrostatics actually see uh, the question is uh, this uh, there is a uh, ring and uh, it has charge q and it is uniformly charged and uh, 
its uh, radius is r and uh, uh, at point d uh, which is much much greater than r uh, we have to calculate quadrupole contribution to electric potential of the ring okay so again here if you do the calculation okay you will find that this answer is zero quadrupole contribution to electrostatic potential is zero here okay next question is related to uh, electric dipole moment uh, sorry not electric dipole moment this is magnetic dipole moment so there is a current loop uh, and uh, a current i is flowing through the loop see this uh, current i is flowing and uh, here uh, uh, this length of the loop is d so here uh, current is going like this and then it is going like this so we can just assume that there is current here in this direction and also the in this direction so we'll get two loops and if you calculate resultant dipole moment of the two loop you will get answer to be equal to answer is me jo aega, wo hoga current multiplied by d square okay that is the answer so this is the answer of this question okay now next question again it is from electrostatics it says that there is a uh, you see charge q here and in, uh, it is kept in front of a grounded conducting sheet so now question is what is force on the charge what is electrostatic energy relate and there was a question related to surf, uh, induced surface charge density and poisson equation okay so in this question uh, if you match with the options you will find that this was wrong this was wrong this was wrong and this was only correct option okay now next question it says it is related to uh, motion of charged particle in magnetic field okay uh, and related to uh, basically uh, acceleration of charged particles by cyclotron okay see the question says there is a uh, alpha particle and there is de deuteron okay uh, they emerge from cyclotron with kinetic energy something this much or this much mega electron volt respectively so they are now thrown into same magnetic field which is perpendicular to initial velocity so they move in circular path so question is if alpha particle uh, moves in a circle of radius r alpha and deuteron moves uh, in a circle of radius rd then r alpha by rd we have to calculate so if you do the calculation you will find that it is one okay it comes out to be one actually okay so now another question it says uh, there is a uh, so there is a person who goes uh, into a restaurant and uh, for lunch uh, and he notices that on the clock uh, two needles are coinciding okay then uh, he uh, takes lunch and uh, comes out uh, of the restaurant and while coming out he again notices that two needles are coinciding it is men mentioned that he spends about uh, an hour in the in the restaurant okay so question is uh, 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 how much uh, time exactly does he spend in the restaurant okay so if you do the calculation in details you will find that its answer comes out to be around 6 5 5 upon 11 okay this is the answer now next question see this is a question from bonding of um, uh, or diatomic molecule it is related to diatomic molecule it says that uh, the potential of diatomic molecule are given like this and like this see this is uh, somewhat deeper this is less deeper this is narrow narrow is its width is less its width is more okay so now question is omega p is um, uh, greater than omega q and so if you uh, analyze it you will find that this is correct actually so if something is narrower ye narrow hai, your potential is narrow so it's uh, frequency will be more actually uh, you can uh, justify it mathematically also so all these kind of justification detailed justification we will provide in our next video okay once uh, original paper is released by iits okay so uh, now here question is dissociation energy uh, ep is greater than eq so obviously that is true because it is deeper okay so ep will be greater than eq uh, for e greater than zero see this is e greater than zero region this is e less than zero region okay uh, system is unbound that is true so this is true actually okay uh, and uh, it says that uh, uh, so this is unbound and for e less than zero it is bounded that is true okay next question is related to free electron gas uh, it says e uh, energy for n by 2 particles is 2 to the power alpha for, uh, of fermi energy then fermi energy of n particles so this is for n particles actually so question is uh, alpha what is the value of alpha so this uh, 
is if the if this question is related to 3d okay it is not clear whether this question is related to 2d or 3d okay if this question is related to 3d then alpha will be equal to minus 3 by 2 okay that's the answer for 3d okay but if it is 2d then answer will change so that's all uh, uh, in this video okay uh, we are going to start a new batch for uh, net ex uh, uh, for net uh, after uh, just after the coming uh, net exam okay abhi jo net ka exam aane wala hai uske baad uh, just baad hum log net uh, ka ek new batch start karenge anyone interested uh, in learning physics deeply can join it okay